Hi, I thought I would come along today and share a little bit about 16 guidelines. 16 guidelines is a really easy to use framework and it is so easy but so powerful because it can really change your perspective. It can change the way you look at different situations and different uh, relationships and it can be so helpful in loads of different ways. I have used it now for several years and we are delivering a few courses coming up over the next few months. There's an online course um, online, uh, let's see, at the end of April and then a face to face level one course, which I'm so excited about at uh, Haddo in Aberdeenshire in June. And then the subsequent to that, you can do a level two if you want. And that's going to be online in May with a face-to-face -face one in August. So 16 guidelines. There's 16 of them. They're divided into four. They're divided into four categories of how we think, how we act, how we relate to others and how we find meaning. And there's, there's lots and lots of different ways we can use, um, use the guidelines and use the handbook. But the easiest and um, the way that I think most of us use it in day to day life is we use these cards. And what we do, there's 16 for each of the cards. Um, and the cards, the guidelines themselves include things like patience, contentment, um, honesty, gratitude, service, courage, that those sorts of words, those sorts of terms. Um, so day to day, um, and I do it as well at the beginning of every month um, for and breathe, but I'll sit and contemplate the day ahead. Let's, so let's do that today. Sit, think about the day ahead. Things for me have changed a bit because the snow is here and it's bitterly cold. <laughs> um, so it stopped what I was doing yesterday, which had ups and downs. Um, it, I was looking forward to working. Um, but at the same time, I managed to get caught up with other things too. So what is coming up over the next wee while? We've got um, the easing of lockdown. In Scotland, we've got elections. And, and that can cause um, sort of interesting discussions maybe between those we love as well as um, listening to people we don't really know. Um, and there's different challenges for all of us. So think about just things that are coming up over the next few days. And as we do that, I'm going to just shuffle these cards. And what I do is I, I kind of play with the cards as I think about what's coming up. And then one of them invariably falls or, um, I don't know, suddenly appears to be a bit, there we go, oops, a daisies. Nope, that wasn't one there. Let's, we'll just wait a minute. That's one there. Okay, courage. Okay, I've picked courage. Now you will have your view of what courage means and I will have my view of what courage means. And that is what is so fantastic when we get together in the courses or in discussions because it's our joined, it's our um, joined up thinking, it's our joined up understanding of courage that really helps us all to understand each other better. And that's one of the, um, I feel, is one of the powerful um, parts of 16 guidelines. But in the, guide, the handbook for 16 guidelines, courage is the very last one. It is number 16. And I'm going to share with you what courage means. And then you can think about courage over the next few days and how that's going to influence what you do and what you say maybe. So courage, the quote is from the role model for courage in 16 guidelines and that is Swangarai Matai of Kenya. Um, and what it says about courage, what is courage? Courage is about stretch. It's about seeing, feeling or realizing that something more or different can be done. Developing the determination to do it and then carrying it through despite all obstacles. We know in our bodies when we've been courageous, 
there's a glow of satisfaction and relief. Something has shifted and we've grown in size. Courage is not defined by what we do, but what we overcome within ourselves. It comes in many forms. It's found in a steady approach to everyday difficulties, as well as in the single spontaneous gesture it is happening quietly all around us, as well as in the news. Courage involves acknowledging our fears, but not being deterred from offering something that goes beyond our own immediate needs and comfort. Most courageous people have decided that the well-being of others is more important than their own and have allowed this decision to drive their actions and the way they live. Invariably, they seem to find their own happiness in the process. So just allow those words to filter through over the next few days and, and just see if it changes anything that you're thinking or doing or what you're planning. Um, and I'm going to share, there's always a challenge in this handbook for each of the guidelines. So I'll, I'll leave you with the challenge. The challenge for courage. Is there something worthwhile that you long to accomplish? What is it that holds you back? How substantial is that fear? Even if you're afraid, are you willing to do it anyway? Commit to something now. So I'll leave you with that. Enjoy the rest of your day.